focused may be the best way to describe Lisa Harvey Smith at work. But ask the British born astronomer about her job as the project scientist for the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder Telescope, and excitement comes to mind. I can't believe I'm an astronomer. I mean, it's so exciting that. I study the fundamental nature of the universe and I get to see things with telescopes that nobody's ever seen before. The ASCAP radio telescope sits on a remote part of Western Australia. These 36 antennas have been designed in part to teach scientists about how to create what will become the world's largest radio telescope. We're developing technologies, developing techniques and new telescopes to understand how we can build this and achieve this global project. When completed, the Square Kilometre Array will consist of hundreds of thousands of antennas spread across Australia and South Africa. It's going to be a fantastic instrument for uh, looking back at the earliest um, epochs of the universe's evolution. We're going to discover so much about how the universe formed, galaxy formation, all these sorts of issues. Harvey Smith says building a telescope with that kind of power isn't easy. One of the biggest challenges with all of this is figuring out how to deal with vast amounts of data. For example, this is the largest supercomputer in the Southern Hemisphere. But by the time the SKA is completed, they'll need a supercomputer more than 1,000 times more powerful than this. So when we get signals from the sky, we turn them into computer signals, so digital signals, and they all stream from thousands of telescopes through fiber optic cables into a huge supercomputer. And that amount of data that we're creating is absolutely gigantic. It's actually more than the total global internet traffic. But scientists involved with the SKA seem more focused on the rewards and the questions they hope it will answer. I love astronomy. I've loved it since I was a 12-year-old kid, and uh, it used to be my hobby. And now the 36-year-old astronomer says it's a passion that's led her to work on an international project where the possibilities of discovery seem as endless as the universe. Greg Navarro, CCTV, Sydney.